Welcome to What's Trending with Tire Review, presented by Apex 2022. I'm Maddie Weiner, and today on the podcast, we're talking about the Internet of Things. If you're scratching your head thinking, uh, how does this relate to my tire business? Well, we're about to delve into just that. This episode, we're joined by Pete Libetro, Vice President of Marketing for Hunter Engineering Company, who describes how Hunter is using the Internet of Things in its HunterNet 2 technology. According to computer technology company Oracle, the Internet of Things, or IoT, as you may have heard, is a network of physical objects, your things, that are embedded with sensors, software, and other technologies for the purpose of connecting and exchanging data with other devices and systems over the Internet. Think of technologies like the Amazon Echo, for instance. The way Hunter is using IoT is to address shop efficiency. Hunter has the ability to connect its tire equipment, which includes tire changers, wheel balancers, alignment racks, and more, to give you, the shop owner or tire dealer, data on how many jobs each machine has performed, how much money they're bringing into the shop, missed service opportunities, and more. Owners can see all this data in the HunterNet 2 portal, which can be accessed via desktop or mobile. To learn more about the capabilities of the HunterNet 2 portal and what dealers can measure, we caught up with Pete at this year's SEMA show. He gave us a look into how the technology was created, exactly what it can measure for shops, and its latest update that includes a multi-store view. Hunter introduced a, 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 an online tool, an online portal for our customers uh, called HunterNet. Okay. HunterNet really was about the story we were talking about right? it related to the 75th anniversary they bringing hunter closer to our customers and bringing our customers closer to hunter you know uh, giving them more direct access one of the ways to do that is with um, an iot platform okay so our equipment is it gets smarter is able to communicate and give its uh its findings to to this portal and this is a great way for an owner or a manager to keep track of what their investment is doing. So you could see this HunterNet, or HunterNet 2 really, um, starts off uh, on the dashboard with a, uh, oops, uh, an indication of the amount of potential work you might have found for alignment or tire the amount you have performed and the amount that was declined or unperformed, okay? We give it to you in dollars. We're not telling you how much you are you know, charging for this. In the background, the, the uh, owner has told us you know, how much they're, um, they're charging for alignment, okay? So what it is, it, this kind of information is drawn largely from this graph. So here we've got the number of quick check inspections that you might have performed. That tells us what the potential is. The number of alignment opportunities that were resulted from that, because not everyone will be an alignment opportunity. And then how many alignments you, you've actually sold, okay? So if you're not, if, if you're, you have a plenty of opportunities, but you're not selling them, well, then there's a, a front desk problem, right? Um, but if you have, um, and everyone has plenty of opportunities because 60% plus of the vehicles are, you know, unaligned on the mm -hmm. road today. So that gives you a kind of a picture of that. But you could make sure that people are doing the quick checks and that sort of thing. The tire work is um, is similar. In this case, we're probably monitoring the balancer, although we can monitor the revolution for the amount of tire work done. So we know the tire opportunities and so forth. Then we know the goals that you've set, how many quick checks you want to do over a period of time. Here's your Hunter team. Here's the equipment you have that's connected. What's your payback look like so far? Okay. So, you know, this was not, this is a little over a year old and you're, you know, you're four tenths on the tire changer, but look, you're doing great. 1.3 times paid off on the balancer and so forth. So this is like a profitability sort of dashboard Yeah, type. yeah, yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Um, what your equipment is, which ones are connected and so forth. But it also has lots of other functions here. Um, purely from an ease of use standpoint, you can order consumables. Push reports are an interesting thing while we wait for it to um, move over to uh, the consumables. Push reports, are, it, it enables you to set up a report that comes to you twice a day. 
let you know how you're doing. But another way we can bring our customers and us closer is just making it convenient for them to buy the, you know, essentially the razor blades for their razor, right? The paste, the mount heads, that sort of thing, 24 seven. However, they, you know, mm -hmm. otherwise you have to call, pick up the phone, call your local service rep. The local service rep has to jot that down in the middle of their day, make a call, another call, get that thing shipped. And, you know, these things, um, it can add delays. And, and, and this just allows customers to go ahead and do that really fast. So that's quite turning into a quite popular portion of that portal. The HunterNet 2 portal can get pretty granular. As Pete showed us, owners and managers can pull up individual inspection reports per vehicle sent from Hunter equipment to the portal so that they can see the work that has passed through the shop. We have individual vehicle results so I can look at the inspection results from the inspection. And we also have like a library of the operations manuals, the training manuals, links to the videos. So kind of your hunter resource for the equipment you have. Mm -hmm. uh, and we know what equipment you have, by the way. So uh, the um, and then here's some inspection results so you can go back and look. Uh, straight at the vehicles you're do you're working on you can see whether the tires were okay these were marginal that that alignment was out and so forth um, and that's just an example we have the results for tire changing and uh, and wheel balancing and, and others finally Pete showed us the system's newest update which allows owners with multiple locations to see tire service statistics across their locations all of which feed into the HunterNet 2 portal Owners can go in and get a bird's eye view of their location's revenue on tire services and compare locations to see where one can help another in a certain area. If you have 10 locations, you have to look at 10 different portals. What we've done is put that together and their new, new uh, offering is a multi-store portal, okay? So this is, you know, the owner of a 10-store chain or a, a manager of a, a multi-store group. Okay, and what we're seeing here is sort of a rank order of how the stores are performing in wheel service. So, how many inspections, how many wheel alignments, how many tire changes, how many wheel balances, what brake cuts, the estimated revenue based on numbers that you enter that that shop has been doing. So, you know, if you're a manager, or if you, you know, the, the owner of this 10 store chain, you want to know what these guys are doing right, and you want to educate these guys. Uh, about you know and, and dig into what they're doing wrong because there's no reason that Troy you know barring natural disasters or calamities right that Troy isn't doing what Clayton's doing mm -hmm. right what is uh, the number what do the numbers mean like 37 out of 32 okay so or? the goal yeah I'm sorry I should elaborate the goal uh, is I want to do 30 inspections every day I've done 33 so I'm above goal my I want to do eight alignments in the course of a day I did seven I'm under goal okay um so whenever you're above, it's green. Whenever you're um, below, it's orange. Um, and you can actually look, dig in deeper for each store level. So you can see we kind of unfolded that. And I could look at my, you know, my uh, speedometer, uh, see what my rate of conversions are uh, on my tire changing. I can look at whether I've used the walkaway procedure, whether I've done bead massage. Uh, for road force, I can make sure that they're using smart weight and putting the roller on every tire. I can actually know whether the machines are, are live and active, or in the case of one, you know, hey, that machine hasn't been used for a couple of days now. So um, all the so machines... to maybe find out why. So right? all the maybe. machines communicate with this then, yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is all IoT kind of uh, connectivity here. Now, you don't have to have everything connected for the value to, to show up, but on this screen, this is basically IoT information. So. And like an, like an online Excel tool based tool, you could, uh, you know, just move to the South region, see what's going on there. So you had all the filtering, all the ranking. So I could change the ranks of these uh, to look at the bottom stores or the top stores and so forth. So that, that's sort of the, the dash performance dashboard. But there's also something really interesting. When you start running multiple stores, it becomes very difficult to keep track of your equipment inventory okay what's what do you have what's its uh what's its status um how many pieces how old are they etc um so this is our equipment review 
okay so this will tell you exactly what equipment you have uh we look at huber heights um we could see that they have two quick checks. Um, both have really paid themselves off already. Um, they have three alignment, oh no, uh, one alignment machine uh, that's three years old, three tire changers, um, one balancer, one is which is still under warranty. That's what that little icon means um, and, uh, and so forth. Um, if we go to a store that has a little alarm on it, you can see the little, that's because the lift racks on that store are getting old, okay? We don't set what the limits are, the owner does, but in this case, clearly it's been set at 10 years or older, okay? So that's when they start wanting to, you know, start budget for cap, capital expenditures. So this is just a quick glimpse of exactly what, um, you know, you have in your basically, you know, if you have 10 stores, you have six stores, it's probably impossible to keep track of what you have, mm -hmm. um, you know, without a, a tool like this. So that's what the multi-store brings. These two work hand in hand. So I could go straight from the multi-store to, so I see something I really want to study more uh, in the multi-store roll-up. I can go right dive down to the single store and see what's, you know, the, the details and then come back up. So really optimizing mm -hmm. shop efficiency and, and giving shop owners a... A view, a, a, a total view eye. into what's going on mm -hmm. that's remote, right? You can do right. this anywhere, uh, however you want. But um, right, I just, to, to me, it's like bringing your hunter equipment to you. Um, what, what is it doing, um, you know, uh, and what is it doing for you? Special thanks to Pete Libetro for being on today's podcast and to Jeff Beckner for arranging this interview. To keep updated on tire industry news and trends, don't forget to subscribe to our daily newsletter at tirereview.com forward slash subscribe. And since this podcast is in both an audio and video format, you can watch the episode on tirereview.com or on YouTube and subscribe to the audio version wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks for listening to What's Treading with Tire Review presented by Apex 2022. I'm Maddie Weiner, until next time.